One idea it, it kind of floating around is that if you are in a volatile environment, so if you're in an environment where, let's say, you don't have a father around, then you're getting cues from the environment that either your dad's dead or that this is not the kind of environment where men invest in their kids, mm -hmm. for example. Or also, if you're in an environment where you see people deceiving each other or cheating each other. So what's the best thing to do in an environment like that is to have babies that are also going to be able to be good liars and good at deceiving and manipulating other people. You don't want to find the most agreeable, nice guy in the world to have kids with if you're in an environment that is volatile in this way. And you see this, um, this kind of dichotomy about what women like in, in romance novels. So in romance novels, which are the best-selling books on the planet, what happens is the woman falls in love with a man who's this bad boy rogue, uh, one of the top, you know, they're pirates or thieves or whatever, right? And then he becomes so devoted to her that he can express this devo deep devotion to her and he's nice to her and agreeable to her where he isn't to anybody else. Mm -hmm. And that is sort of this feminine fantasy is to be with somebody who has the capacity to manipulate and fuck over and deceive other people mm -hmm. but doesn't to her is so in love with her that he treats her really well and her family and her kids really, really well. And that is, that's what really optimally, I think, uh, women want because that's the kind of phenotype, that's the kind of man who could succeed in any environment. And he would make the kind of kids that could succeed, succeed in any environment.